on a surprisingly warm November afternoon. I was on my scooter in a parking lot down by the Lincoln Financial Group buildings, like every person should be. Riding down an alley of the complex, I noticed a site, the finite infinity pool, the place Salvador Dali's dreams took place in, the flooded missing half of a parking lot. I rode my scooter towards the forbidden, or rather off, section off land of dreams. I, a warm heat hit my face as I inched closer. Once there, I saw the sight of sights, at least a quarantine brain to me. A line of the parking lot looked as though concrete was torn out, leaving bent rebar and a new surface. Looking down, three inches of water, algae growing, sun shining, water waving like a lake. On the other side of the missing half of the parking lot, nothing. No water to speak of, the angle of this place being more than clear. It took me weeks to collect why I thought this place was so imperial. The reason? It's a failed infinity pool, a place that by no means should exist. While there's more than likely a logical explanation, human design failed to make this happen. And soon after, I saw great sores appear on the back of this, making it seem even harder not to lose my mind at. The rust from the rebar above and below made red clouds of water bleeding throughout the liquid portion. When the water gets low, the red stains retreat like my friends one by one when I started talking about this place. The great scabs of the great beast healing over. But before the scars of rebar healed fully, winter hit. It is here I realized the pool is a mammal, warm-blooded, and as such, its form stays the same in freezing conditions. The pool didn't even start to freeze until it was 10 degrees Fahrenheit which is not how water in this small of a round works. <sighs> as it started freezing, I thought it was because it's a concrete slab that overhung by a glass building, but as it dropped to five, zero, negative five, and parts still weren't frozen, this seemed unlikely to be the case. I realized the heat is coming from underground, the four hearts of the great beast. On the day of negative 20, the coldest day of the year, one heart held firm, Beats of water still splashing over the frozen top. As I walked home, I thought, is this the portal to the afterlife? Is this how I'm going to get sent to a deep brimstone hell? Or is this the start to my apotheosis? I, my dad's about the first one. Even hell freezes over eventually.